just gonna finish decorating this gourd that we just painted or I just painted these gourds I grew them a couple of years ago I'm gonna do June catcher in the center I actually drilled tiny holes hand in there I'm not sure if you can hear me I'd like to make a knot but these are some of these holes are a little tedious to get into. I actually carved it out last night, but it took me three days to come up with a pattern in my head. I decided I'm going to do is take these very tiny feathers and I'm going to place them here on the gourd in this one particular spot and I chose the tinier one so that you can still see the artwork of the string um, but it still just embellishes it a little bit more and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to it's a tiny piece of leather. Not sure if I'm going to be able to um, bead around it, but I will try. I don't know if you can see me. I'm just going to cut a small square. Of course, I always like to fringe my work. Even. So I'm going to fringe it first. Tiny, tiny little fringes. I don't know if you can see the fringe. Tiny, tiny, thin fringe. Just gives it a really cool look. The reason why we fringe our clothes is pre-European um, our clothes were made out of leather and actually leather is very comfortable um, it protects our skin from the sun as well as the elements but it can also hold a lot of water so they fringe the clothing so that the water runs off the fringe instead of seeps into the clothing or my tiny fringe okay and i'm probably gonna have to build this up a bit these feathers i want to be to the opposite so it's gonna be like this I'm going to take my sinew, this little piece of sinew. Okay, and wrap it. And I will make a loop, like so. So it's going to be easy to attach it to my vase. This way it builds it up a little 
so that I have some room to do a little bit of bead work. Loop it and knot it. Probably really hard to see with these little tiny feathers. Okay. Okay, so I have my bulked up feather ends, because these are tiny feathers, and I have it knotted. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to utilize this end of this string, so I'm going to base it up, and I'm going to wrap not prepared because I forgot to thread my needle but I'm going to wrap the fringe around the feathers and sew it together and I'm going to do what's called the peyote stitch of beadwork around that so let me get my beading string it's a very fine really fine string and I don't like to use more than one arm's length so that's how I measure mine um, because it's really difficult to pull it and I've chosen a turquoise dark turquoise metallic color bead um, it's been a very simple design so I get my fingers inside um, the hole hopefully this anchor bead doesn't go through the gourd hole itself we'll see I'll put an anchor bead before I go through the hole make sure it doesn't go through it's a tough spot of the gourd if you can see what I'm doing anchor bead seems to work fine so I'm just going to put the larger bead and then I want to dangle the same color beads that I used in the peyote stitch on the little feathers here I like to start with the same color coordination so I'll start with the turquoise then red and orange and so forth. And then it all ends up. I think I'm gonna need more turquoise. too much but then I'm going to put three extra beads at the end turquoise so put one, four turquoise actually at the end and the reason why I do that is because I want to make it um, like a little flower so instead of going through the last three turquoise I'll go through the turquoise and the other beads and it gives it a um, little flower effect at the end if 
before I pull it tight. I'm like this. So there we have it. We have the little embellishments. On the one side there. And the feather. Just do the other side. And then the gourd is done. It's time to start a new one. And then this time I'll show you um, some paint techniques. Um, this one, this paint technique was actually done with a cotton pad and alcohol. Um, I wanted the imperfections of the gourd to show through the paint. So I put a very light coating of the alcohol ink on a saturated cotton pad so that I can get that effect so that we can see the nature's the nature's beauty of the gourd. So I'll knot the string and do the repeat this on the other side and then my gourd is done. Um, takes a couple hours for the polyurethane to dry on the cedar wood. Once that's dry, I'll put it on there and then take pictures, take it into my little store that I have, and highly advertise. I'm going to put my anchor bead. And go through the back to find that hole on this side. It's tedious, but we can do it. Just repeat the pattern, the same color beads. Okay, so that's how we're going to finish this gourd off. Then um, the next one will probably be from the very beginning.